Hey guys and gals, it's your favorite Titanic ginger, Goliath. Come with us behind the line at Anime Next 2019. Hello, Anime Next! <laughs> Hey guys and gals, it's your old pal Goliath for Arc Studios, and we here behind the line at Anime Next. We have one of the gentlemen who volunteers, does his service, and helps the many fans of anime and so much more here at Anime Next. And we're going to talk to him about what it's like to be behind the line. So, sir, welcome. Tell us your name again. My name is Pride. <laughs> and how many years have you been helping out and volunteering and doing all this great work for Anime Next and all the fans here? Well, I started in uh, 2013 working for the uh, AV department. A year later, I uh, moved to. Uh, to the con safety, and I've been staffing with them for the last five years. Five years, that is remarkable. Someone has that much dedication for the fandom and the fans. I mean, look at all these fans right here. Look at that. Look at all these glorious fans. Well, guys, I hope you guys like Anime Next, and if you've never been, please come check it out. It's always here in Atlantic City. Now that we've moved to a bigger, awesomer location, I promise you the con's going to keep growing, getting more exciting, and so much more. This is Goliath for Arc Studio signing off on our first day free registration behind the line. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Hey, guys and gals, it's Skull here at Anime Next 2019, and it is day one where we're doing Disney Mages. Here we have Merida, the mage. Moana, the shaman, and the ever-awesome Rapunzel, the sorceress. Today, we hope to get to meet many cosplayers, amazing artists, and see amazing panels. What are your expectations for the co convention today? And my expectations are honestly just to see a lot more cosplayers in their amazing costumes and everything like that, because it's amazing to see all the talent these people have, especially for a convention that brings everyone together. Yeah. And what about you, Merida? I'm looking forward to many things. I'm looking forward to the mystery boxes and all the great prizes inside. Also, it's a little bit of gambling and also all the cool stuff when people to see me and know I'm pretty. And Rapunzel? I actually want to check out Artist Alley in the dealer's room. That's one of my favorite parts of the entire con is seeing all the amazing people come in and showcase their merchandise and seeing all the hard work they put in. I love that. Exactly. The bread and butter of every con is definitely the Artist Alley and many of the panels that are, that are shown out there. But of course, we wouldn't be ARC Studios if we didn't show our love for the cosplayers. So stay tuned as we show inter interviews and all our pictures throughout the convention today and the days to come. Bridget, who actually was in charge of a panel here of Anime Next Family Feud. So we each got to be a part in the panel. So that was a lot of fun. Would you guys say so? That was, was great. some of the questions were a little um, questionable for their panel. Yes, they couldn't answer them. Yes, he you, couldn't you were answer on too, but this one nailed one right on the head. She got number one Jackie Chan Adventures like that. For Saturday morning cartoons. <laughs> yep. So, and their surveys was kind of... Wonky. Kind of wonky. Two, it was two sided was dice. Like, yes. <laughs> so we had like quite a few questions that we, we saw the answers and we questioned them, but ultimately it was a lot of fun and it was a great experience for us. So hopefully you, you'll get to see some shots of that pretty soon. Bye. Bye. Angel Beats. Angel Beats! Yeah. Yeah. Number two. Number two, so you guys can still steal if you have one answer. Do you rely on April? Yes! 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 Number five. Hey guys, it's Crafty Kiwi, aka Lolita, and I am here at Anime Next 2019. And this Saturday is actually Worldwide Knit and Public Day. So 
we got a little circle going on right here, just, you know, in between panels and photo shoots. And we're just working on our individual projects. Mine is just a simple purple shawl to use up scraps of yarn. And Alex is also here with me. Hi, I'm Alex's Crafting, and I am actually trying to crochet some earrings because I'm lacking some ear wear for my beautiful cosplay that I finished yesterday. I'm really happy to hang out and do, get some crocheting done. Hi, I'm Jessica Catania. Um, I'm also known as McClumishchip. Don't it on Instagram. I am uh, I just working on the beginning of a blanket for my boyfriend. It's going to take a while. So yeah, we're just stitching over here in our little circle, just watching them set up the uh, wrestling stage. It's going to be uh, happening in like a couple hours, I think. Uh, it's really interesting seeing it set up because you always see it when it's already, you know, going and everyone's screaming and yelling. So just seeing it set up before all the action happens is pretty interesting. And yeah, we're just talking about our knitting and what our projects are going to be and yeah, just having fun and enjoying our cosplays and everyone else's too as they walk by. So that's it for today. Well. I guess I'll see you later. so she could dangle the swords. Oh, right. yeah. So yeah, I really like seeing everyone's creative energy going into their interpretation of the character. Now did you have a favorite? Because I know I had a couple. Oh gosh. Oh, I think the Grim Velvet really had to be my yes. favorite. I, I've been seeing a lot of like Grim interpretations of the yeah. character, so I love seeing someone do that. It's mm -hmm. fantastic. Okay. And then overall, how do you like the con? Oh, Anime Next is a staple for me. Uh, I've been going probably for the last five years or so, so I look forward to it every year. And uh, so far, so good. I had a lighter schedule. I didn't try to do too much. It's kind of like a photo shoot here and there. I think it made it a little bit more of a vacation for me. <laughs> yeah. I think that's how everyone ties. I think at least my group ties to do it. We all consider this a vacation. We dress up, we hang out, we have fun, and just let go for a bit. Yeah. Yeah. I really love your cosplay, by the way. I love how it also you're the only Kira. <laughs> like, it just happened to be the thing. But yeah. it's really nice to put together. And it's really awesome photo shoot. You guys kept it really concise and really organized. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much for coming over. Thank you. And have a great time. You too. Well, guys, that's it for this little interview. We'll catch back with you later. Bye. of the members of ARC Studios here and we are sadly closing mm -hmm. Anime Next 2019 for this year. But what do you guys have to say about it? Who had fun this year? I you had think, fun? I think Brett's the most excited to talk about what he... Yes, uh, okay, so guys and gals, it's Goliath. I want to say thank you so much for checking us out at the con. It was a lot of fun. We gave away some blankets, gave away some cool colorful orbs. It was a great con. I also want to give a shout out to Kimberly and Jim, the program and vice chairman of Anime Next 
I went to the charity auction, I won this. Hey guys, do you know who this is? Right answers only. <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. We look forward to helping out the charity auction next year. I think it was great to help out St. Jude's Hospital. Guys, this was a great Anime Next. I had fun. I was, the video games, the dealer's room, so much. I had a lot of fun dressing up, so we'll see you guys next year. He cheats. By the way, he'll explain uh, why uh, I'm saying that. Uh, he'll yeah. explain later. But anyway, I look forward to seeing you guys in 2020. Five year anniversary for our studios. We're gonna do something, don't know what it is, but I look forward to it. <laughs> okay. So, since he did bring up uh, the video games aspect, we actually, they actually did a- Dragon Ball Z Fighters. Fighters. They did Dragon Ball Z Fighter. I've never played the game before, but Red apparently is a quote unquote veteran. I both I beat him four times in a row. Um, but anyway, and also I was really uh, impressed by the JDM vehicles that they had um, with all the anime art uh, that was on the cars. They had standard tuned cars in the front, and then the ones that were for show are all in the back, which had like a lot of like, hey, this is what I love. So they expressed the it on their car. There was a guy who dressed his whole car as Bleach, Ichigo Kurosaki, and hollow form. And he walked around dressed as Ichigo. Dude, respect. I really like the Totoro car, too. That was cute, too. Totoro, yeah. <laughs> she got to meet someone of her dreams. I got to meet Max Middle, and then I got a selfie with him. And the reason why I love him so much is because he voice acts flag from Miraculous Ladybug, and I just love that little cat, so I was really happy, <laughs> pleasantly surprised to see that he was there, got a selfie, and he even did flags voice with me. So it was perfect. I'm that that made my con. That just made my con. <laughs> How about you? Okay, honestly, I have to say one of the most iconic for me would definitely have to be the cosplay burlesque show. And it seems like, honestly, for the past few years, they only have gotten better and better with it each year. And I kind of feel like this year, it kind of, not compared to the first year, of course, yeah. but it definitely took the show away. They had a great, um, they had a great number of acts in it. Everyone performed very well. And we even got to meet, me and you got to meet some of the um, burlesque dancers, um, yeah. dancers at their table. And they were really sweet and I everything. I still stand by what I say, Grand Gandalf the Grey was probably the best one. Let us know if you actually saw the cosplay burlesque show, like down below. Yeah, comment below, guys. Like, share, and subscribe too. Don't forget, we are here for you guys, the con, and so much more. So look forward to 2020, 2020. five year anniversary. We don't know what's gonna happen, but something awesome will. <laughs> Bye guys. Bye. Bye.